Whether it's because you notice your prints stop getting material, or you can hear the filament actually snap after the extruder gear eats through it, a clogged nozzle is one of the most annoying headaches in 3D printing. Today, I'm going to show you how to use cleaning filament to unclog a nozzle. For some printers, you can just heat up the hot end, pull the nozzle off, and swap it for another one for under a dollar, but for more closed ecosystems, such as this XYZ DaVinci Pro, a new nozzle would mean buying a whole new hot end, which would be $100. This cleaning filament I'm using cost me $13 for 100 grams two years ago, which has already lasted me two years, and it looks like it's going to last another two or three more. Using the cleaner filament is a fairly easy process. First, heat up the printer head to 200 to 240 degrees Celsius. I often set this to about 5 to 10 degrees hotter than the material I was last using. For total clogs, I find that I sometimes have to help the extruder motor by grabbing pliers, helping to force the material into the nozzle. This is a problem I've only faced with the XYZ printer, and many times I've had to break a jam about 2 centimeters above the nozzle tip by either using a 1.5 millimeter Allen wrench or this cleaner filament to break it loose. The goal for the cleaner filament is for the nylon or whatever they're using to melt and mix with whatever junk is in the nozzle. After the nylon won't go any further, or you extrude about 6 inches or so, let the nozzle cool. Reading the reviews, some people are letting their printers cool down to about 90 degrees Celsius, but I often get best results for my printers around 40 degrees Celsius, which also happens to be the ambient temperature of my garage. Yay, Texas. Once cool, we do a cold pull, where we pull the nylon cleaner filament out of a cold nozzle. This may require a bit of force, so be careful not to pull your printer off the table or lose your grip, punching a hole in the drywall. Kyle. A pair of pliers can be useful in getting a good grip. As you can see, the cold pull brought up a lot of burnt dust and other impurities. Repeat this process a few times until the nylon continues to come out clean. I had a cheap $150 printer that needed over 10 cold pulls in order to get the nozzle clear after a particularly cheap spool of PLA. The printer was also in a very dusty environment which didn't help things either. Once the nozzle path is clear, it can be a good idea to let a foot or two of material go through, pulling out any dust that may still be in the filament tubing. If you enjoy designing and producing custom computer cases or adapters, then make sure to check out this t-shirt now available on Amazon. It has all of the standard ATX dimensions on it, so that you don't have to look around Google Images trying to find diagrams that are way too blurry. Now you can just hang this t-shirt on a wall, or look down at your chest, and now you can design stuff with the measurements right in front of you. Project IBM is getting ever closer to finished, plus there's also a skee-ball machine that I haven't even started uploading the progress of at all, so make sure to mash that subscribe button to get notified when those videos go live. Until then, check out these other videos, and I'll see you in the next one.